if you guys look at this graph, remember, we regraphed from left to right. Here's our x-axis. Here's our f of x-axis, right? Yes? OK. Now remember, we're determining if a graph is increasing or decreasing based on what value? We're basing, we're basing it on the which value, the x or the f of x that value? What do you think? Anybody want to try giving a stab? Da, 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 da. No, no. Hunter, what do you think? Well, as, as we're going to the right, as x is moving to the right, we're increasing, right? So as, I move, as, as my x values increase, are we going to say the whole graph is increasing at all times? No, right? As we read this graph from the right to the left, what are we determining if, if what is increasing or decreasing? The x values or the f of x values? X of the f of x values. That's telling us where the graph is going up or down, right? X goes left or right. We're going to read from left to right. We want to be careful. We want to watch what is f of x doing. When f of x is going up, f of x increases. As f of x is going up, the graph is increasing. As f of x is going down, the graph is decreasing, right? We see that f of x is not remaining constant anywhere. All right, so now that we know when f of x is increasing, uh, we're looking at when f of x is increasing or decreasing. So let's start from the furthest left. We know this graph is going uh, to go up to the left. So as we start here, as we start moving to the right, we kind of maybe pick like some points. Point here, point here. So reading these graphs from point one to point two, what is the behavior of this graph? Is it increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. It's pretty obvious, right? You can see that the graph is going down. Here's how we're going to write that. We're writing the graph as its x values. So from the x values, it's de the sorry. The, from the x values, f of x decreases. So what are the x values that is decreasing? Well, we don't know how far it's left it's going to go, so we're going to say negative infinity. So how far does it go until, until it stops decreasing? How, how far over does it go? Three. OK? Then from the x value, three, to the x value, six, is the graph increasing? Is the f of x increasing or decreasing or constant? Increasing. So what we would write is the graph is increasing from the x value 3 to 6. The most common mistake is everybody wants to put in the y values. The y values is what we're just watching. We're just watching if the y values are going up or down. But we're writing the intervals of the x values because we're concerned about we're decreasing interval of when x of x increases. f of x either increases or decreases. So then we continue. So from the x value 6 to the x value 9, so as we keep on moving to the right, the graph is obviously decreasing. And then from the x value 9 to infinity, the graph is increasing. Okay. Again, when we're writing when the graph is increasing or decreasing or constant, we're only writing it in terms of the x values. We do not care what the y values are. We're only watching the y values or the f of x values to determine if it's going up or down or not. Okay? Capish, Caprende.